Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we got an animal drawing, a lynx. So another one to add to our animal cat series. So let's go. Um, we're going to start with the eyes. I'm on a landscape orientation page. Use a pencil and hit pause if I go too fast. So center point to my page is about here. And that's about the line where the cat's eyes will be, all right? So we'll find your, <clears throat> your middle and come over to the right a bit. And we'll just curve a line up and over like so. And it kind of flicks out there at the end. So then we'll go curve it in like there. So you're kind of making it look like a bird's a bird's head or something like so. It, and it curves around like this. See what I mean? It's kind of like a bird's beak there. Well, that's what it always looks like to me anyway. And then it will come to a point at the other end as well. And then it kind of looks a bit like a lemon, <laughs> like a really sharp, pointy lemon. So his iris, we do a curved line coming around here. Make it as circular as you can. Kind of has the top cut off. And then, so we're going to give it sort of a long, not, you could give it a circle eye, like a pupil, like like a lot of cats have, or you could go with kind of the night vision version, which is like this kind of thing. You know, like that, which I like, but you, it, it's up to you if you want. You could give it a circle eye if you want, because I know cats during the day, their eyes are circular. So, yeah, totally up to you, I guess. Okay. So you can come over then and do the same thing on the other side, right? So we're starting about here. So you want to be able to fit an eye and a bit, like an eye and a half. So here to here, about the same as an eye. So an eye will go from here to here, and then a little bit, maybe half an eye, just there. So it's like, the main thing to remember is that you're more than eye distance over. There's a wide gap on cats' faces between their eyes, not like humans. Our eyes are real close together. Curves over like so, and then we'll bring it pointy, both sides, like so, and then we'll go around. So his iris, just in there, and this is dark. So, and then you'll add that sharp sort of line like that. Okay, so we'll go, we'll go down and do the nose. So the distance between the eyes is the same distance as the eyes to the nose, to the middle of the nose, see this? So these two eyes down to here is the same distance down to his nose, right? So you just want to do a bumping sort of curve line across like so. Kind of reminds me of like a stretched out letter N. So then we've got like a nostril here and a nostril here. And then we go down to a sort of point in the middle, so like down this way. Maybe a line up the center like that. And the nostrils usually are like darker on the inside here okay okay so snout so we'll go down the middle from his nose just here so just like down here okay and then the snout is going to come around so we're going to curve it around okay can be furry, hairy, sketchy line if you want, like this kind of thing. Or it could be smooth, sort of more illustrative kind of line if you want. And this curves around like so. Typical cat's mouth. Okay. And this generally goes in underneath the eyes. Right? So then you may have like some lines coming up the side of the nose here, 
like something coming off the center here as well. Like so. And his chin. So we're gonna we're making a hairy sort of links, okay? So you could have a round chin if you didn't want it, like a, a beard type one. And then in here could be dark shadow. So you're just colouring this in black and maybe adding a thicker line just under here. Okay. Okay, so details around the lynx eyes. So like, we've got a kind of a thing going on up here. Great description. We have a thing. So above the eye, right, just here, they have this like dark sort of section just here and like whiskers stick out of this, right? So most cats have them. You can color it in black or brown or whatever, or you could leave it just like this. And I'll just leave it so you can color it whatever way you want. But it kind of, it's kind of like a teardrop kind of thing. And it's hairy, you know? And it, there's whiskers that come out of this, like eye whiskers. That's the only way I can describe it. And the whiskers come out here, but I'll do them last. So first of all, we'll do like, some lines coming around, like an eyelid sort of line just here, okay? Like that kind of thing. And then this will come down in towards his eye, right? And in towards the snout. Like so. And this will come down a bit further into there as well. Okay? And then we could have something similar along the bottom. And links sometimes can have like dots and spots and things, but yeah, I don't know. I guess I I leave it up to you if you want to add that. So I've seen them smooth creatures. I've seen them sort of not smooth, I guess. Right, and maybe like a line up the center, forehead, maybe a little bit like that. Maybe some more hairlines. Like so. Um, right, so we've got a sort of a jaw thing going on, right? And some we'll darken this up, right? And we have some dark sort of section just here coming out from the eye, right? And this joins the jaw, which is just here. So we have like a hairy sort of line just here, right? And this can have dots. We'll add some dots, why not? Let's just add them. And then this can be darker black sort of section of fur just there. Okay, and we'll do the same thing over here. So darken it up, comes out to like a point, and then it'll go back in to here. And I'll just thicken this up, because I think it should be black. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Because I like looked up a lot of different pictures of links, and some of them are dark, some aren't. Some of them have spots, some don't. So it's kind of up to you. You know, if you want to style it up a different way, feel free. Okay, so, right, so, ears and stuff. So, we do, like, the fur coming around the head first. So, like, fur comes around, like, here. All these spiking lines, right? So, it can be, like, big spikes like this, or you can go, like, just, like, real small, you know? You can mix it up. Do both. You know, so you're just adding like hairlines like that. Kind of like a lion's mane coming down here. The only difference between a lynx and a lion's mane is that the lynx is kind of one stops right here and it has like pieces of hair sticking down.
like so. I think we got like a black section here too. So what I mean is like this, I'm gonna color this in dark black. Maybe another sort of dark section of fur here. Texture lines all you want into there. That kind of thing, okay? So then, right, so this will run up past the ear. So this will be like the head sort of area, the fur of the head, kind of here, okay? On that side. And we do pretty much the same thing on the other side. So this comes down as well. Yeah, like about here. And then we'll add lots of fur again coming down the other side of the head. So more like spikes in a similar fashion coming down here. comes back in underneath his chin and I'll add um, a dark hair like section just here as well So like that and you know you can add texture lines and again like another black sort of strip coming down from the eye here. It's like a, just a darker fur section just coming down here. This kind of thing. You know what? I might color these dark actually. I think it'll suit it now that I've done the black on the bottom. Yeah, I think that's better. I might add another one just here. Okay, so ears, right? So 
the ears are going to start like here. So we got like, like the furry part of the head and then the, the ear will stick up here and the other ear like here somewhere. That way. And then they'll join together in the middle. So the ears grow into the head a little bit, right? And then, right, so we got, yeah, that's going into the head. So that line will go up that way. There's like hair there. And then we got, yeah, Right, so lynx have like these big long ears with points on the end, right? So we'll just go for it. So we'll go like up like so, kind of a wavy, bumpy sort of line. So it kind of like curves around here, comes down the other side, curving, bumping then down here, and it'll join sort of back in, kind of hairy style back in here, okay? And up here then we got that dark sort of, section that kind of flicks off. It's like all little hairs that stick up to a point right up to the top of my page there and then it comes back down and joins the ear and this is like dark inside so it's all black. Kind of hairy looking as well. Okay and then of course there's all hair inside the ear as well so so we got like just maybe an edge line just here comes around the side, bumps around here, and perhaps like a darker sort of portion just in here. And then we got like all fur, just all inside. So like, All fur inside the ear. There could be some like hatching lines just inside to shadow this up. But in general, real furry section inside the ear. Okay. Trying to make it just as hairy as we can. And then we pretty much do the same thing over the other side. So we bring it up. And it comes over. And then it curves around. Down like so. And maybe gets a bit hairy down here as well. Like that side. And a bit darker. So, and then we've got like the inside edge line, just comes around. Some bits that stick out there. And then, so then maybe darker kind of in here. But then mostly just kind of fur sticking across here. Some hatching as well, like so. And we got to do that dark portion, pointy sort of thing, just here. Right, so, just another line maybe 
for the brow there. Put another couple of dots, spots. fur here and maybe some shadow just in around it. Yeah. But I think that's it. Of course, like you could add a neck here if you wanted. Um just some more hatching there on the inside of the ear. But I think that's the best I can do anyway. Will I add a neck? Yeah, we'll, we'll give it a neck. Okay, so I forgot whiskers. <laughs> I always forget the whiskers. So like you could add some like dots just along here. Like so three or four layers. I'll just do three. I was nearly done for the day and then I realized I looked at him and I realized I forgot the whiskers. So Let's see how long are whiskers on. Now they're pretty long, so. So, and a couple sticking out of this area here as well. Like so, okay. Now, there's the links. <laughs> Thanks for watching.